Oh man, thank you so much for having me. Uh, yep, my name is Chris Williams. That's it, that's all there is to it. I know how that name makes you feel. Nothing, there's nothing there. The name Chris Williams basically translates to he whose parents only did missionary with their socks on. I mean, it's a really boring name and I get that. I, I, I understand, my parents were not risk takers. Uh, it's a horrible name. I, uh, I go by Chris because my full name is actually Christopher Williams, which is worse. Christopher Williams is way too long to be a name. Like it's way too long. That's a, that's a three hand name. When you spell it out, that's three hands. It's C-H-R-I-S-T-O-P-H-E-R. Like that's, that's too long of a name. That's too long of a name for somebody who just translates to nah. Like that's really, it's too much work. When I, uh, when I go to the DMV and I have to fill out the paperwork, you know, it's always last name first. I go Williams and then what happens after that? All I can get is Chris because at Chris, they're like, nah, we're done listening. Like you're still here. It's a horrible thing, man. I feel like, I feel like Chris Williams is like the, it's like the ethnically ambiguous John Doe. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, I feel like people were sitting around and there was an unclaimed dead body and they're like, well, he's not white. What we should, what we should call him? Hmm. I don't know. What about Chris Williams? They're like, hmm, that's mundane enough, old chap. Ah, but there's an ink shortage. So no, we can't go with that. Like, that's what I feel. I always wanted a cool name. I feel like if my name was like Phoenix, like Phoenix is a cool name. If I was a kid named Phoenix, like Phoenix is never it in tag. Phoenix, Phoenix is sleeping with Jeff's moms, especially Jeff's with a G at age seven. Like that's how he lost his hair. Phoenix is a cool name. I feel like if my name was Phoenix, I would have game. Like I could flirt with people. I can't flirt. Chris is, we can't flirt. Chris, like Chris is, we think it's like, okay. The truth is, is there's a little edge to the name Chris. But it's not much like a, a like the name Chris is like um like when you see a Kia Sorento with a sport package you're like mm, is it like that's not much edge but I think Phoenix would be a good name for me mixed kid light eyes named Phoenix I'm getting women that's what I'm trying to tell you I'm getting women and every time I say the name Phoenix I'm spelling it out I'm like uh that's P is in Paul H is in Harry. Like I'm doing the, I'm dragging it out, man, because I want people to know that my name is Phoenix. I would rise from the ashes. I hate the name Chris. I hate the name Christopher. Christopher actually means he who bears Christ. That's a stretch. Who's the most famous Christopher of all time? Columbus? Did he bear Christ? I don't think so. I like that joke. I'm going to work on that. I got to tell you, uh, the name Christopher, it, it's a lot of pressure it's not even pressure on me. I know, I know it's he who bears Christ, but it's actually pressure on my parents. See, because I was adopted. And thank you for not clapping. Sometimes when I tell people I'm adopted, they clap like I beat cancer. Like all I did was not get fumbled. You understand? I was born in March, adopted in June. My birth mom was like, said hike and hand it off. My birth parents were like, okay, got you. And then they spiked me. Now CPS, my parents never actually spiked me. I should say that, but I don't want to get taken away even at the age of 37. But I was adopted, man. Actually, I'm from Los Angeles originally, and I moved up here because I went back to college. I actually graduated college two years ago at the age of 35. Oh, I appreciate that. That's very kind. Thank you. I appreciate that. Th those are pity claps because nobody ever wants to be in college as an adult, but I had to do it. I had to brave the trenches with those people. It's a terrible thing. I remember uh, I was <laughs> I was dating this girl who was 24. I said date. My bad. Look, I was fucking this girl who was 24 years old, okay? And she made me feel so old. Like the first night she came over, I felt good. Cause she was like, oh my God, I love the way you smell. I was like, oh, thank you so much. She's like, it reminds me of my grandfather. I was like, bitch. And then she asked me what aftershave am I wearing? Like, I'm not wearing aftershave. What is this, World War II? It was icy hot for the record. No, cause like I'm at the age where I'm buying Shack Indoors products. I had to keep my knees ready just in case I had to hit it from behind. I don't know, I love college. I learned a lot in college. Um, I learned that Santa Barbara's racist. I mean, it's not like the movie Get Out racist, but it's like classic Disney movie racist. Like, y'all just want to touch my hair racist, you know what I mean? Like, and also white people, just please stop touching black people's hair. Like, we don't walk up to you like, oh my God, I've never touched Sonny Van Bangs before. What's your favorite Taylor Swift song? Go Chiefs. Like, we don't do that to you. Please don't do that to us. But like I say, it's not like... You know how like a lime LaCroix doesn't really taste like lime? 
but it tastes like Lime used to live there and it moved and never got a mail forward. That's the kind of racism in Santa Barbara, man. It's, it's the essence of racism. It's just enough for black people to be aware, but it's not enough to keep us away. It's kind of like when McDonald's put the calories on the menu. It's like, I get it, Ronald McDonald. I know this could kill me, but I just got a notification. It's free French fry Friday, and I'm ready to risk it all. You understand? I feel like white people don't like when I tell that joke in Santa Barbara, but I won't be here long. I can't afford it. I don't know, man. I, I Like I said, I'm, I'm mixed. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, and, and I was adopted. I was adopted to a very affluent, strong black family. And I was I was raised like I was raised as like a black man. Like you couldn't tell me that I wasn't full black. It was like I was age like 14 when I looked in the mirror and I was like, hold on a second. The call might be coming from inside the house. Like I, I felt like you ever see those videos of like a cat who thinks it's a dog? Like that was me. I just thought I was black. One year I, I, I dressed as a dashiki, a dashiki. Okay, for Kwanzaa. I should not be celebrating Kwanzaa. That's cultural appropriation, is what I'm trying to tell you. Me celebrating Kwanzaa is not that good. Guess what I'm trying to tell you is I struggled. I struggled with the duality of being half black, half white. And my therapist asked me about it the other day, and I didn't realize that I was struggling that hard. But she asked me, she asked me, what's it like being a predominantly, uh, what's it like being a black person in a predominantly white space such as Santa Barbara? And I thought I had it figured out, man. But lately, I've been having this nightmare, right? I have this nightmare where somebody just breaks in my apartment, just and they hold a gun in my head, and they can decide if I'm black or if I'm white. And I start crying because I'm not Michael B. Jordan. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Let me explain. I'm me. Like, I'm black enough to where my white friends don't use the N-word around me. But I'm white enough to where I don't use it around my black friends. And he's like, well, yeah, it's good to be respectful, but that's not what I asked you. Are you black or are you white? And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Let me explain. I'm me. Like I'm black enough to where white people cross the street when they see me coming at night. But I'm white enough to where they wait for the walk sign. And he's like, yeah, you know what your jaywalking ticket is? But I'm only going to ask you one more time because comedy happens at threes. Are you black or are you white? And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Let me explain. I'm me. Like I'm black enough to know that Friends is not funny, but I'm white enough to know that Ross and Rachel were on a break. And I looked up at my therapist and she was like, on a break? And we were done. My name's Chris Williams. Thank you for having me.